So you're importing files into Ableton and your tracks are not lining up. Super frustrating. I used to hate when this happened to me. Today, we're gonna discuss why that is and how to fix it. Before we hop into the video, quick announcement for you guys. I recently dropped a super fire, complete start to finish music production course. It's designed to give you every single tool you're ever gonna need to produce professional quality music in 30 days, either if you're totally brand new or if you've been producing for a while, but you're just struggling to get your sound to the next level. It's over 17 hours of content distributed over 30 days of learning. We also have a super fire community where you can hop in and ask questions, free monthly sample packs, all kinds of cool stuff. Also, we've recently worked out a deal where if you sign up for the course we can actually give you guys educational discounts on Ableton Live, FabFilter, Isotope, Sound Toys, Kilohertz, Arturia, and Output. So you can literally save thousands of dollars and as of right now the course is on sale so it costs less than dinner. So definitely worth it, definitely worth checking out. Let's get into the video. If your tracks aren't lining up in Ableton this is why. So let's say we have a drum loop here and then we have a bass loop and you're left with something that sounds like this. I see this a lot with people who are unfamiliar with Ableton and it's fine, we all start somewhere. It can be very frustrating to figure out. So what's happening here is we have three different BPMs. We have the beats per minute for the project, which is 140. We have the one for the drum break, which is 123. And then we have the one for the bass loop, which is at 150. First way we can fix this is if you want these to automatically line up when you put them in. So when you drag in a drum loop, you're gonna go to settings. So you're gonna press command comma go to record warp and launch. Loop warp short samples, we're gonna turn this to auto. It should already be set to auto, but if it isn't, we're gonna change this. That way when you drag them in, they should line up. However, if they still don't, what we're gonna do is we're gonna decide which BPM we want our project to be. So let's say we want to stick with 140. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click warp on. So warp is basically Ableton's way of stretching a sample that to make it fit a different BPM and how it's going to stretch and affect that sample. So what we're gonna do is this is a base loop. So we're gonna use complex. Complex is a good overall warping algorithm. And we're gonna type in the BPM instead of the project of this in particular loop. So I'm gonna type in 150. And notice when I do that, it lines up perfectly to eight bars. Um, and that's because what we're doing is we're telling Ableton, this is the BPM of the in particular loop in relation to the BPM of our track. So we're saying, hey, this loop is 150, which most of the time loops will tell you. Almost all the time they'll have a BPM listed. And as you can see, now it's fitting perfectly in this segment. Now with the drum break, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn warp on and we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna use beats mode. The reason why is because like I was saying with warp modes, it stretches things in different ways. So complex is good for like synths, it can be good for vocals, it can be good, it's just good all around. But with the beats mode, what it does is it warps stuff based on the transients. So it's gonna sound a lot better and natural for drums than complex mode might. So again, we're gonna keep it on beats and then we're gonna type in the BPM of the in particular loop, which as we can see up here is 123. <laughs> Now we have everything lining up. We have, this is lined up perfectly. So we have the BPM of the drum break. We have the BPM of the bass and it's all matching up to the BPM of our project. Hope this video helped you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.